Today on The Heartbeat, we introduce you to world-renowned physician scientist, Dr. Emerson Perrin, a graduate of THI's prestigious Interventional Cardiology Fellowship Program, who today serves as the medical director of the Texas Heart Institute. We sat down with Dr. Perrin to learn more about how a Brazilian-born violin major chose to become a doctor, later earning a PhD and going on to become a world-recognized leader in the development of stem cell therapies for cardiovascular diseases. Hello, Dr. Perrin. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So, so tell me about the current initiatives aimed to, to advance patient care at THI. Well, um, that's, that's very interesting that you asked that because most people have the perception uh, that THI, given its you know, world leadership in, in, in historically with Dr. Cooley and all the surgeons and the transplant programs and everything that's happened here over the years, is uh, a, a medical entity, and it actually used to be. But back in 1967, Dr. Cooley gave the clinical charter of Texas Heart Institute to St. Luke's Episcopal Hospital. Mm -hmm. And only recently, we've, we've taken it back and or, or you know reinitiated THI as a, a clinical organization and so now in addition to research and education which we've done and are very well known for we now have uh, the Texas Heart Institute as a clinical entity and as part of that clinical entity the Texas Heart Medical Group then uh, uh, has physicians that are Texas Heart physicians for two decades, Dr. Perrin and his teams have explored the regenerative properties of stem cells to improve treatment options and even reverse the effects of disease or damage to the heart. Twenty years later, the first approved treatments for some of the most devastating heart conditions could be just around the corner. So for the last 20 plus years, you know, you have been an integral part in stem cell development and uh, really using stem cells to advance cardiovascular health and care. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, well, um, yes, we have been working on this for a long time since mm -hmm. pretty much day one, uh, since we treated the first patient with stem cells in their own heart back in, in 2001. So it's mm -hmm. been uh, quite a journey. The potential for stem cells in medicine is, is intuitive, it's obvious. But the real trick here is how do we do it? And, and that is tricky because uh, these, these processes think, you know, when we think about uh, treating people with medications, you know, medications are little chemical formulas and, and even doing that is complicated. You go through a long process to get new medications approved. Well, think about a biological, you know, living entity, which is a cell and all the interactions that that cell has when you put it in a tissue and what and the effects that it's going to have. So it's taken us decades, literally, and will take us even more to understand what some of these things are, how they interact, and how can we take advantage of this sort of incredible uh, potential that we all have within us. Let's talk about quality of life for your patients. I mean, you've got patients that because of, of these advances that you are an integral part of, you know, they, they're able to do things that they've, they weren't able to do before. They're able to, to live their lives more normally by, you know, snow skiing and going to Disney World and, you know, walking on the beach and, and doing all of these active things. So, so tell me how that feels to, to, to know that you are part of, of giving people their lives back. What we're doing really is is substituting, creating some new heart muscle, uh, improving that pumping function, the heart's a pump. And mm -hmm. if we can make it pump better, well, if, if your heart now that wasn't pumping well is, is really circulating the blood and the oxygen and everything you need through, through your body in an effective way like it used to when you were a kid, well, you feel like you can do all kinds of things. So we, we have really seen some very uh, impressive and uh, very uh, exciting things happen as people sort of regain their lives back uh, after some of these successful uh, stem cell treatments. Soy yo. Gracias, Dr. Perrin. Gracias a su equipo. Porque esto ha sido un milagro. Le estoy muy agradecido. Y esto es una evidencia del éxito del proyecto de investigación que usted y su equipo están llevando adelante. You're a doctor. However, there are some things that people don't know about you that I think everybody should know about you. 
and that is that you build amplifiers <laughs> and you race cars. So tell me about that. I, I enjoy motorsports, and we're lucky here in Houston to have uh, uh, Coda, which is a you know international Formula that gets One your heart pumping. track. You know, <laughs> very close by, so it's 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 fantastic to be able to uh, to enjoy that, and and actually uh, having uh, uh, motorsports is a very technical thing. Uh, it really is about uh, executing certain things, as many people might know. And the other thing I, I really enjoy doing uh, is dealing with electronics. And uh, the vacuum tube is, a, is a, an incredible thing. And, and it was in, in the 60s and 70s, it was sort of substituted in a way by transistors, which are solid state and small and miniaturized and very reliable. But in reproduction of music and certain other things, like you know, guitar amplifiers and, and even just listening to music systems at home, the vacuum tube and electronics just sounds so much better. So I love uh, dealing with that and, 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 and building uh, these things for enjoyment. Favorite musician? Pat Metheny. <laughs> Favorite car to drive? Uh, my own. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add that we haven't touched on? Uh, no, just stay tuned. I mean, there's a lot of exciting things happening at the Heart Institute and uh, you know, we are really standing on the shoulder of giants and we just want to take the mission of the Heart Institute further and and, and, and take it where it really deserves to be. That sounds awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Perrin. Thank okay. you for being here. You're very welcome, thank you. For The Heartbeat, I'm Maya Pomeroy.